Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim and Ukrainian President Zelensky held a phone call on Monday. Qatar's Shura Council has denounced Israeli remarks to displace Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. And finally, the United Nations is very concerned by the high death toll of journalists in Gaza. Hi, this is Ali. This is the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Qatar's Amir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky held a phone call on Monday to discuss the latest developments in Ukraine. The European nation has been embroiled in a war since early last year with neighbors Russia that has seen civilians killed on both sides. Qatar is currently mediating to reunite Ukrainian children back with their families after they were separated due to the ongoing crises. Now, Qatar's Shura Council has strongly expressed its denunciation and dismay over reprehensible remarks made by Israeli officials regarding plans for Gaza. Israeli officials have point-blank said that displacing Palestinians in the besieged strip, then rebuilding settlements in cleared out areas is one of their intended targets. The Shura Council said that these comments are rejected by all free people around the world and that it represented a major violation of international humanitarian law. And finally, the United Nations is very concerned by Israeli forces killing journalists at will in Gaza. This comes after two Al Jazeera reporters, Wael Al Dahdouh and Mustafa Abu Thurayya, were hit by an Israeli missile that landed directly on the car they were traveling in. The death toll for journalists in the strip has now reached 109, with the UN now looking to investigate and ensure strict compliance with international law and prosecutions. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.